Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I've done this. I've actually missed a lot. Um, but, you know, life happens. Not sure. You know, I'm not even sure if I was... Actually, I know I'm not very good at this. This is not my forte, but I love it. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, just and not be so like hard on myself not so judging where I've been you know how far is it growing I'm just gonna do it because I like it so anyway um, we're gonna jump right in today into some kind of a you know uh, kind of a get ready with me but you know some new products today I want to focus on two one is a foundation from Beauty uh, the Beauty Blender Skin Tint. Um, it's the bounce, the bounce skin tint. You can find it at Sephora. It's twenty nine dollars. Uh, also, I want to play with some. I got some new liquid blushes. I'm dying to try out. They're from Daniel Sandler. And if you watch Michaela, you know that these are probably already gone. <laughs> so I'm not really going anywhere. I, I mean. If I get done, I can go to church. Because when I set this all up, <laughs> I needed to reset it up because my mirror was too tall. I couldn't see the camera, horrible angle, whatnot. So I had to reorganize my desk. I also have to go back and refresh on the new software I got because it's fancy and I don't really know how to use it. <laughs> It's not for toddlers. I felt I had outgrown the other one, but this one is a little trickier. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start off with a Dewy Glow Gel from Say. Uh, this is $28. You can also find this at Sephora. This has been shockingly one of my favorite new things I go to every day. This is a gel, it's a water gel, and it's got a dew to it. Um, it's, I believe it's clean. Yeah, it is a clean makeup. Um, there was a lady that came into, oh, I'll back up just a little bit. I actually went, I went back to Sephora, <laughs> left Sephora, went back to Sephora again because it's a really long story. My, li little, my whole life's been kind of hard. And I know everybody's life's been hard. But this, I mean, and I'm not saying it's the most hard. But it was like, for me, it was... I couldn't make heads out of tails. Whatever. Whew. Anyway, so now I'm back at Sephora and H-E-B. So, better circumstances all around. You know, things kind of calmed down. Not that anything was really bad. It was mostly about hours and hours <laughs> trying to survive. And I'm sorry, my teeth are so messed up. They're still not, I haven't, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get a fix. So I digress. So we're going to start off with the Say, this Dewy Glow Gel. I do just about one pump. That is probably too close to the camera. And I'm going to apply it. I did wash, I had to go to work this morning at 5.30, so I washed my face, and it does me no good to wash it again, and then wash it again later when I take all this off. Ooh, do you see that glow? And it's not too glowy, it's not too, uh, it's not too much, it's like lit from within. Yeah, like I said, this is my new go-to product. It has a little scent, but it's, you can maybe see it on the back of my hands. Uh, but it's not overwhelming. This, I would recommend wearing... I didn't realize my hair was looking so... Anyway. Um, under a matte foundation. Those usually work the best. Um, but I'm going to wear it under the skin tint today. This is a skin tint. You definitely want to shake it up really, really well. Ooh. So shake it, and I'm gonna do about two. Drops. And the other 
Ooh, that's a lot. It's liquidy. Um, I'll show you. It's kind of liquidy. You can see it running. I did play with it the other day. The other day I did a beauty blender, of course. Um, <laughs> but today I'm going to actually use the Beauty Blender Velour Puff. This is excellent for, for uh, powders. Um, I use it mostly for my concealer because it applies so nice and smooth and it doesn't get crepey. Ooh. That is a lot. So it says that you can actually... Oh. <laughs> mm, I use too much. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the Beauty Blender won't give you as full of a coverage as this, but the Velour Puff will. I don't think I've used a brush brush for foundation in a very long time. And since I had so much, I went ahead and moved it up under my eyes, which means I am not going to use concealer. Okay, next time, just one drop. But this is a skin tint, guys. This is very naturally radiant. And now I'm just gonna press it into the skin. Make sure it's in place. And if I need to touch up anywhere, I can. Because I still have some on my glass. Pick up what's left. And I'm going to add it to the places that tend to slide, which for me is my chin. A lot of people have trouble with the nose. I have trouble with the chin. It is the first place I sweat. Guys, don't sleep on this foundation. Please don't sleep on it because this is absolutely stunning. And this evened out my whole complexion. It's not even, you can get you can get it up to a full coverage if you use this. If you use a beauty blender, it'll be a good medium. But even with the medium or with the beauty blender, it evened it out flawless. This, uh, it retails again for $29. I have some Dior, that's my favorite, and that's 50 this is my new favorite I think I have one more foundation I want to try and that's the Sephora collection better than skin I put it on clients and it is really pretty and it's only $20 all right excellent let's move on to the next thing um, I'm going to set it with a little bit of powder and I will probably just use a brush because I always do. I'm not going to use concealer today because I think this foundation did enough. I'm using the Aqua, the Hydra Mist from Becca. Even though Becca doesn't exist anymore, I still have this powder. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of it because it's so pretty. And I'll... And all the brushes I have and I use are all Scott Barnes. And if nobody ever checked out Scott Barnes during the pandemic, you really should. Because his stuff is amazing, especially his brushes. And his blings and oh, his eyelashes, his false eyelashes are amazing. I had to move my uh, mirror to the side, so you'll probably be seeing me more. Oh, I love it. it. It's flawless. I love it. I love it. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is my brows because I really can't stand an undone brow. Some people are that way about the lips. I'm that way about my brow. 
I found the perfect brow pencil for me and it was from Sally Beauty collab but during the last year or so they've been hardly getting any in of course you know the drama that is not even drama it's a clown show the clown show that's happening in this country right now uh, anyway so everything is on hold or on back stock I don't know so I tried the Sephora collection they were just a little bit too warm for my brows I didn't care for that too much I'm kind of over Anastasia the next one that I like is my arches and halo I um, I picked another one of these up this is a a neutral brown because I like the cooler undertones in my brows I also like the Anastasia Beverly Hills you're kidding me right oh sorry the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade I do really like that as well I'm just checking to see if anything else is starting to kind of settle. I should probably set it, but I'm going to wait until I'm done with my complexion first. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to use this little mirror. Ooh. Okay, I'm just checking my camera because my camera tends to sometimes want to turn off. <laughs> and I don't have a monitor still on this, so. Alright, so we got my brows. This is the uh, Arches and Halos and the Neutral Brown. They have all sorts of shades. I like their selection. Uh, you can find it at EGB, but they only carry part of it. Target carries the whole thing. Um, I also sometimes will take the NYX... brow glue just to lay down these hairs because right down here on the ends they just stick straight out it drives me freaking nuts so this has been pretty good for laying down the ends for me not so much like in the Like on the inner part because uh, I don't really have that problem so much there as I do with the ends here I think a long time ago somebody um, threaded them too short and here we are <laughs> all right so now we're gonna move on to the actual liquid blush this is what I have seen a few people I think a lot of people went back and got uh, they ordered it and like I ordered it and literally like an hour later it was sold out <laughs> I wanted to go check anything that Kayla touches it's gonna it's gonna sh what, what's the word I'm looking for it's gonna sell out so these are watercolor bl blushes from Daniel Sander they're like I've, they're very pigmented from what I've seen I am going to start with it says tiny. Wait. Oh, this is called pop. This is my favorite type of blush. It's like a a cool tone rose color. It says a tiny, and from what I've seen, tiny. And it is very watery. Holy shit. Sorry. A little bit more. 
like and I mean guys the tiniest bit. and place it where you want uh, if you don't want a lot of color in the front to place it in the back It's so pretty. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> so I was at the I was on the Derm Store's website and <laughs> so it had like two colors. Guys, this is gorgeous. I don't know. I am so pleased. Oh my god, I love this. Wait, I am miss. I. Beautiful! <laughs> this is my new blush. It does have a six month shelf life, so get ready to use it daily. <laughs> can tell you right now, I believe if I'm not mistaken, you can use these on the lips as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with some bronzer and I'm going to use a Scott Barnes bronzer because this is the only bronzer I have ever used that I like because I boycotted bronzers for the longest because I hated them. And okay, still checking my camera. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit, I lay it down with a big one of his brushes. Oh my gosh. I love these highlight these blushes. And I'm just taking some bronzer underneath. I'm not going for a heavy look today. Cause sometimes I will. I probably should have laid down the bronzer first. Sometimes I do. This new layout is so much better. I don't know why I didn't think about it before, putting my makeup mirror to the side. Ooh, okay. We're gonna move on to the blush, or not blush, uh, highlight. So this is actually called Moon Glow. This is another Daniel Sanders. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. I usually mostly use powders. I don't use a whole lot of cream. This one did not pick up any product off my face. Love that. Again, we're gonna do. Okay, I'm a high beam kind of lady. <laughs> I like, I like to reflect, reflect, reflect. So, I am. Depending on how this turns out. Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous. And I mean guys, the tiniest bit. You can uh, swipe this with a um, brush. You don't have to use your fingers. Or you could probably use a sponge, but I like my fingers. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> oh my god. I need to stay on TikTok. So perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, I am just going to check. Where did I put that? I'm sorry, not right here. I'm checking just to make sure nothing has settled. Damn it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. So I will put everything I use today down below in my, um, in the drop box down below. I'm going to step off camera and I'm going to finish my, the rest of my face and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. I, all I did was throw on a pair of lashes which these are the Kiss Lashes in Ruffle. These, I have no liner, no shadow, no nothing. These give you that nice extension effect, but they're very natural that you can wear daily. These are my new favorite. It's a four pack. You can get them for 13 to 15 bucks, depending on where you go. And then I lined, swear, Oh. Anyway, I used the Milani lip liner. I used the Scott Barnes liquid lip in Bed of Roses. And then I did the Scott Barnes Crystal lip gloss. These are phenomenal, phenomenal lip products. I suggest you go check it out. He's got a great rewards program. Um, the brushes, hands down, the best I've ever used. I love them. You can take, you can do so many things with them, but my favorite part about them is you can actually do multiple looks with just one brush. Use the color switch, you're good to go. So, <laughs> not too shabby. I am in love with my face. I love this foundation. I'm in love with the liquid, uh, the liquid blushes. The dewy, oh my god, the dewy primer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> dewy primer. I am, I want to eat my face right now. I can't stop looking at it. And no, I'm not that vain. <laughs> it's just really pretty. I love when I find amazing products. All right, guys. So, I appreciate you tuning in today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to see more, please let me know. Um, go ahead and subscribe and let me down, let me know down below what you think of this look, what you think of the products, if you had any questions, or what you would like to see next. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to go do something now because I can't sit in the house like this. I think it looks too good. Anyway, you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.